Why did Lise withdraw? Simply because the numbers weren't there. As he candidly admitted, uh, the, the, the race is already over. Pierre Calpelado has it won. And there's simply no point for Lise to stay in. I mean, if you look at the, uh, the numbers, uh, the last published poll results on the leadership campaign show that he was dead last among the so-called serious candidates. He had the support of only 2% of PQ supporters to 68% for, uh, for Pelado. He had no caucus support. There was none of the other, the 28 other members of the uh, PQ members of the National Assembly supported him for the leadership. He was lagging behind the other candidates in, in fundraising. And it appeared that he was having trouble in g gathering the, 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 the necessary signatures in order to qualify for the next phase of the campaign, which is the, uh, the, 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 the all-candidates debates, and the vote itself next May. So for all of those reasons, he, it looked as though he had no chance of winning the leadership, and so he decided that he might as well drop out now. So is it a surprise then that Lise is out? It's a surprise only in the sense that Lise had indicated not long before he withdrew that he intended to stay in and fight for his ideas and that he intended to maintain his criticism of the, uh, the former uh, Marwa government and also his criticism of the frontrunner, Pierre-Carl Pelado, over the uh, conflict of interest in which Pelado finds himself as a, as a media mogul as well as a politician. So it's a surprise in that sense that he decided in the final analysis it really, it really wasn't worth staying in. So how will this affect the race itself? Well, it makes things easier for Pelado because Lise was the candidate who appeared to be the most willing to take on uh, to Pelado, to challenge him uh, to, uh, in, in, in the debates that are coming. So without Lise in the race, it looks as though the debates are, are, are probably not going to be as interesting, and it's going to make it easier for Pelado, who after all, don't forget, is, is, is inexperienced as a, polit as a politician. This is his first real campaign. Um, he's, he's, if he is elected leader, he will be the most inexperienced leader that the, um, that the Pepsi Quebecois has, has ever had. And so for that reason, I think it was important that uh, he be tested in his campaign. It's important for him, and I think it's important for the Pepsi Quebecois as well. And without Lise in the race now, it looks as though that's less likely to happen. So what is the impact on the Parti Québécois in the short to long term? Well, it could mean that there's going to be less interest in the campaign itself uh, because of the fact that Lise is not there. The debates may not be as interesting, so the PQ might not get as much attention or as, as much publicity out of its leadership campaign as a party uh, normally gets. There's also the fact that 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 Pelado probably won't be as tested uh, as 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 much as he needs to be, or as as much as the party needs him to be uh, to, to be tested. And there's something else. Lise said something interesting in announcing his decision to pull out. He said that he had wanted uh, to 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 talk realistically to PQ members about the problems that are facing this party, the the, the party right now. Uh, after it suffered its, in the last election, last April, its worst election defeat in 44 years. And essentially when he said that it wasn't worth staying in and it wasn't worth continuing to advance those ideas and that the race has already been decided in favor of Pelado, essentially what he was saying about the PQ is that right now in the PQ's history, at a very crucial point in its history, the PQ was not willing to face reality. Should be interesting to watch. Thanks, Don. You're welcome.